Good afternoon, everybody. Christian Karaswitz here. I wanted to give you a quick review of a new product that I just got, and this was a product that, that I purchased myself. Um, it's the Lunatic Multi-Touch uh, Watch Band, and it comes in three different colors. It comes in a silver housing, it comes in a black housing, and it comes in a red housing. Um, I got this one at the Apple Store, pretty neat, and what it's going to allow me to do is it's going to allow me to take this and put it on my wrist. Um, pretty neat pretty uh, good little product and this is actually what the watch band looks like. Um, it's a black rubber. Um, it has this neat little piece here that um, will allow you to um, to fit the buckle into and to kind of strap it down. Um, and this entire housing right here will then come apart. Um, it'll be something that we can, um, you know, it basically this wraps around your nano. It's a piece of metal that wraps around your metal nano. So it's pretty neat. And um, I'm going to get started here but Unlike you know most products, when you get instruction booklets, you know you want to throw these away. Well, with the Lunatic, you don't want to because they include these neat little tools over here in the corner. Um, these are tools that are necessary for taking the the uh, case out and putting your Nano in. And so I'm just going to show you how to do this. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to put, in this case, one end will go into here and we'll hold it in place, and then the other one you will put on this side and you will screw the two, unscrew the two. Um, I typically, you know, I tried to hold this on the side. I thought it was pretty easy. So let me show you how this, uh, let me show you how easy this is to take apart and to put together. It's pretty neat. So once we've got the band taken apart, basically you'll get two of these little tiny screws that are right here. I'll see if I can get this into the camera. Two of these little things right here. And what you're going to want to do is they'll unscrew from each side and then we pull the, the nano apart. It's pretty cool. Um, you pull the nano apart, you take the one that they give you out of there, and then you can decide which way you want to put the nano. Um, in uh, my case, I'm going to actually put the, um, I'm going to actually put my um, nano with the button facing in. So like this. Okay, so you just slide one side onto the other and then we're going to slide the other one back together. And now, if you've done it right, you make sure everything lines up, you now have an iPod watch. Pretty neat, huh? Um, if you look at the back, the Apple clip is hidden, but it's pretty cool. Um, and then you just basically reassemble the product. In this case, we're going to, let's just do this real quick. And you know, one thing you want to make sure you, you do when you're putting together a watch band or you know, when you're tightening any kind of screws, um, make sure you don't tighten them too much because basically you end up stripping the screws. And in this case, um, this is you know a um, it's an Allen wrench, um, so it's not like you can go like go to your you know your uh, your little hardware drawer and pick up you know another screw. Um, you essentially would probably have to contact the people that make this product. Okay, so I've got one screw in and we're going to put the other one in. And, you know, the one thing I really like most about this product, um, I looked at a number of watch bands that were out there. Um, the thing I really liked the most about this one was just the fact that it's a very, um, it's a very solid product. You know, I've never, I've never used this product, but I have to say from a watch standpoint, I would feel very comfortable wearing my Nano on my wrist. Um, that way, you know, I, I don't have to worry about like, you know, getting one of these little clip on ones. Uh, this is a physical housing that you put your nano into. So I'm going to continue screwing this in, putting this back together. And there we go. We have the iPod Nano watch. Pretty cool. Now you're probably wondering, well, okay, well, how do I use this thing? So I'm going to just turn this thing on. And as you can see, my time is obviously not correct. So using the iPod Nano multi-touch feature, we just are going to rotate it like this. And so therefore, then I can put it on my wrist um, like so. Now, you're probably uh, wanting to know, you know, once I've got this Nano together, um, how do I, you know, when I push this power button, you know, again, by the way, I will tell you right now, you do have to push the power button every time you want to uh, tell what time it is. But with this Nano, um, 
you do want to set it into the uh, set the time mode on this, um, and you do that basically by going in. You hitting, hit the power button on the side, and I'm going to go back and show you how to do this. But I go into my settings menu, and I scroll down to you know I don't think y'all can see that because it's a white background. But we're going to scroll down to um, we're going to scroll down to general, and you're going to go to date and time. And once we're in there, we're going to set our time and everything. But there's an option at the bottom. Let's see if you all can get this. It says time on wake. And what you're going to want to do, in this case, I have it off. Or sorry, I have it on. But I'm going to touch it, and I'm going to turn it to off. Okay, when I do time on wake to off, and I, I page out of this, and I turn it on, basically... Um, I'm going to get the iPod Nano setting when I'm when I turn this thing back on, and obviously I don't want that. That's what I'm going to get right there. So I'm going to go in. I'm going to go back into settings. We're going to set it to general, and we're going to go to date and time, and then turn on wake. We're going to say on. And then the other thing that's here that we have an option for is the clock face. We can basically set this to black or white, which is pretty neat. Um, I prefer the black face. So I'm going to just check the box. I'm going to touch the screen. I'm going to you know, page out to this, page back to the music. And then if I hit this power button on the side and turn it back on, voila, I have a clock. How awesome is this? So there you have it. This is the um, Lunatic Multi-Touch Watch Band for the Apple iPod Nano 6th generation. Um, let me show you how neat this is. Basically, I'm just going to put this watch band on like this. Tighten it get everything in place and there you have it i have a really cool ipod nano watch band and granted you know it's it's, it's a pretty comfortable band so far um and there you go i have my my uh my clock here sorry uh we'll just turn this upside down so everybody can see it but there you go i have an ipod nano um watch pretty cool um i will tell you right now there's one downside which for many of you are probably asking but you do have to have uh headphones plugged in this does not work with the bluetooth receiver it would be really awesome if it did, but they don't allow that yet. So iPod Nano Watch by multi, uh, the Lunatic Multi-Touch Wristband. Enjoy, everybody. If you have any questions, just let me know. Glad to help you out. Thanks.